Hello everyone. For my experiments I need rather a large amount of dihydrazine or tetrazine. I made it 8 years ago and plan to make it again. I plan to synthesize it in 4 stages, starting with the very simple substances that can be bought at garden store as fertilizers, and then gradually move to more hardcore reagents like hydrazine hydrate and acetylacetone. Today I will conduct the first stage, namely the synthesis of guanidine nitrate from urea and ammonium nitrate. In general, guanidine salts can be obtained at home in several ways. The simplest is probably just to buy a non-lye hair relaxant containing guanidine carbonate. Unfortunately, I cannot find the one in my local store. They can be also synthesized using urea and sulfamic acid. The method I choose is not the simplest and not the safest, but I have obtained guanidine nitrate in this way many times. Here is the general reaction scheme. The mechanism, however, is a bit more complicated. Under the action of silica gel, a water molecule is eliminated from the urea and it turns into cyanamide. A cyanamide then reacts with ammonium nitrate and gives guanidine nitrate. Another water molecule hydrolyzes urea and converts it first to carbamide and then to ammonium carbonate, which further decomposes into ammonia and carbon dioxide at elevated temperatures. Both cases then leave the reaction zone. Cyanamide also undergoes a side reaction to form melamine, which can slightly contaminate the final product. So I mix it 500 grams of urea, 830 grams of ammonium nitrate and 300 grams of silica gel. Urea and ammonium nitrate from the fertilizer store, silica gel in granules, the kind used for drying. All of this was heated in an aluminium pan to 195 degrees Celsius. The mixture melted and started to bubble, releasing carbon dioxide and ammonia. I kept the mixture at this temperature for 4 hours until the reaction was complete. Then cooled it a bit and added about 1 liter of water. Fortunately, I cooled it too much and the mixture crystallized when it should have dissolved and gone into solution. I had to boil the mixture for about an hour to dissolve everything. Then I filtered the hot solution from the silica gel. Guanidine nitrate immediately began to crystallize from the filtrate upon cooling. I poured uh, the solution into two flasks and placed them in the fridge for crystallization. After a day, all the guanidine nitrate had crystallized. I filtered it and dried it. The yield was 292 grams, or 29 persons of the theoretical yield, based on urea. Here is the dried guanidine nitrate. If it is heated strongly, it begins to decompose and can ignite, although it burns very reluctantly. Guanidine nitrate is an explosive with the characteristics closest to ammonium nitrate. It is used as a component of rocket fuels and explosives, and as a gas generator in care airbags. In the next video I will convert it to triamine guanidine nitrate. That's all for today. Goodbye.